I remember when uh, GB TV first came out and everybody was saying, don't watch it, don't watch it. It's a racist channel. And uh, <laughs> so I spoke to my, my brother. My, my brother studied politics and, and media and uh, a degree. And uh, to which he replied, I asked him, what do you think of GB television? You know, supposed to attract all the racists. And to which he replied, well, I watch it. You know, some good stuff on there. I'm not going to listen to people and allow them to brainwash me. I'm going to use my own informed decision rather than listen to hysteria. Okay, and I loved him for that. Talk about hysteria. When, when he was at university, you know, studying politics and media, and it's interesting that he was said that the lecturer was so frustrated because nobody had an opinion or they pretend not to have an opinion. This is politics. It's not music, politics and media. Yet the students were trying to pretend they have no views. And um, there were only two people they had views, him and this white guy who everyone knew was a racist and, and voted Nazi party, etc. The whole university knew this. And he, my, my brother would argue in the lecture, he, he really excited up that when my, um, well, before I move on quickly. And anyway, my brother was in the canteen, right? No money whatsoever. And this racist said to him, you never have any money. Come on, let me buy you dinner. And the whole university was shocked because they knew he was a racist. Yet he bought my brother some dinner. Okay, so you can have different of opinion. You don't have to agree. Yet come and eat right from the same cup, the same plate. You know, beg to differ. We live in a society now. You all have to agree. Or if you don't, you go to jail for having an opinion. You go to jail, even for saying the wrong word. Something is wrong with this new world order. Everybody has to think the same, act the same. It's almost like a cult. Something ain't right. And him and my brother became best of friends, best of friends, bought him dinner. However, I, I would like to buy, <laughs> sorry, I'd like to buy Nigel Farage. <laughs> I'd like to buy him dinner. <laughs> Not because I, I want to romance him. <laughs> Not because I want to romance him. <laughs> I'm too strict for that. But but rather to <laughs> so I gotta say something, you gotta I gotta giggles today, right? But I want to sound him out. I want to know. You see, let me let me give the reason why. You know, I got talking to this reformed you know, voter. And, you know, you can just tell, you know, the vibe, you know, and I thought this, this reform voter, you know, his heart, if he's a male or female, is in the right place. Beautiful soul, care about their country, care about, you know, people coming over illegally, etc. It's a concern. England is too small to cater for the whole world, okay? And anyway, I got, you know, engaging with this person and I began to realize not all, not all, I must add, not all reform voters want to kick out everybody. You know, this is what the media try to propagate. Okay, it's like the same with Brexit. You know, everybody was racist who voted Brexit. Yeah, I got speaking to 75 year old, eight year old, the white people who voted Brexit and they drank a cup of tea with me. So all in all, you're legal, nothing wrong with you. You know, so th these people, they're not racist. 
why you know they just care about the country however you do get the idiot element you know you get it everybody you know who spoil things okay and as a result the media always latches on to the idiots and pretend they represent everybody else but Nigel Farage I got to sit down with him and explore his universe except that sounds dodgy <laughs> explore his mind his psychology and 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 find out what he's about because we live in a world where i'm gonna say it people bullshit if you're involved with politics i'm afraid they're bullshitters and they will tell you what you like preachers like preachers they will tell you what you want to hear why do you think the church is in a mess now because the pastors line their own pockets you know telling you beautiful motivational speeches they tell you what you want to hear and the gullible orders of congregation you know, throw the money so that they buy their fancy rolls voices and live in big massive mansions just telling people what they want to hear this is what politicians do Nigel Farage, I was shocked. That's how I want to have dinner with him. I want to sit down and understand where he's coming from. When he says the Western world mm, stirred up Russia. The same thing Donald Trump says. Donald Trump, another man, I must admit, I'm a, look, look, you want to kill me, kill me. But you don't tell me who my friends are. I love Donald Trump, always have done. He's not perfect, neither you or me. But Donald Trump says that Ukraine is bleeding America dry. Oh, look, look at the good Russia, look at Russia. Look, come and give us more money, give us more arms. Right, this is what Donald Trump says. Right, the, the Ukraine is bleeding them dry. Bleeding them dry like crybabies. Play, playing America for suckers. You know, but Nigel Farage said that the Western world must have stirred up Putin. I thought, wow, what a real man. That, 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 there's somebody who's coming out and actually says it as it is. These days, people are cowards. You know you, what, you, what you want to say, but you're scared. You lose followers. You lose subscribers. You're scared. You lose voters. But you can talk what's on your mind. And this is what people want. Something different. And that's why I had to sit down and say, come on, let's come to common terms. And let's look at your manifesto. Let me see why the world <coughs> is afraid of you. People are scared of truth. You can't speak the truth. You can't even say, you know, a, a male's a male and a female's a female. You can't discuss biology anymore. People are scared. Not Nigel Farage, he will say it as it is. And I'm afraid I have a friend of mine, white male, you know, who was in the army, an ex-vet. And I, I must admit, you know, you know, he, he, he told me he likes Nigel Farage because Nigel Farage says it as it is. I'm the kind of person, I'm not gonna judge you. Why right? I will, and hence why I'm, I'm his friend. I wait, I wait, and I did. Okay, as I said, nobody's perfect. But Nigel Farage, it, as, he, as I says with Russia, many people would say, oh no, Russia's wrong, Russia's wrong. Nigel Farage says, I forgot how it goes, they should not have expanded NATO right um, on, on, um, on Russia territory. I think it's a, the Monroe Agreement. They should not have done that. Many people know this to be the truth. 
but they keep their mouth shut because they want to please Ukraine. Nigel Farage says it as it is. There's other things Nigel Farage says when he said that um, by leaving European Union, you know, more black people could come over Commonwealth, whereas um, the Commonwealth, um, you know, uh, were deprived, you know, for, for, for European um, Union to come over, blah, blah, blah. There's things this guy says, which I'm thinking, I want to sit down and break bread, you know, and, and, and maybe confess. If I'm wrong about this individual, I want to sit down as a protect. I, I don't vote. I don't vote. You know, and, and as a potential voter, I want to see why I should vote, you know, um, Nigel Farage. If I was in America, I'd vote Donald Trump. I'm not going to vote Joe Biden who poos his pants. <laughs> I'm not going to vote for a man who stays into space. <laughs> Have his security guard guide me around. That doesn't make sense. I'd vote Donald Trump. You know, and, and other, you know, uh, sort of celebrities, you know, like Mike Tyson, which I did cover a video on that, why he, you know, supports Donald Trump. That, that's, that's my decision. If I was forced to vote, I would vote Donald Trump. I wouldn't vote um, Democrats, you know, um, but they, they're going against my principles. But as a potential, a potential voter, my, look, if you want my vote, I'm telling Nigel Farage, I'm begging him, let's sit down on common terms and let's have bread and let's discuss your manifesto because there are many people you know many 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 you know black people like me many black people like me you know who, who don't vote and we also are concerned that illegal immigration you know is, is the sort of um, I had cancer. I had cancer last year. Okay, and and uh, you know, and I had other health issues. And I know that with a long, 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 you know, waiting list on on the NHS, etc., resources, you know, limiting on, on, on housing projects, build, etc., it's only a small island. England is only, England's not America. It's only a small, it's not, immigrants can go to America. That's a big, massive, you know, area, not England. So we've got to be sensible and intelligent. There are many black people who have this view, but we don't want to be caught up with other unpleasantries that can happen. We don't want to be caught up in that. And that's why I says, let, let me sit down with Nigel Farage. He's an interesting person, an interesting person. And I don't want the media to tell me what to think. I want Nigel Farage to sit down with me and says, okay, you know, should I fear him like the rest of the world should? Or the, yeah, but the, the world should, or the rest of the country? Or should I say, you know something? This guy is reasonable. You know, he, he says some things you know, and, and he can back it up. And that's why I want to have dinner with him, you know, to, to actually challenge Ukraine and says that, you know, the Western world should not have provoked Putin. I thought, wow. And they attacked, they attacked him for that, you know. So for that, I'm afraid I'm on Nigel Farage's side. And that tickled me. That tickled me, because now I want to engage with more reformed voters. Just like Brexit voters, there's some beautiful white people I've met who voted Brexit because they care about their country. The music in the background, Jerusalem, right? That's me playing. That's me playing in the background. So I, I, I too love my country, you know? But I want to sit on common terms and see, you know, what's in it for me, voting Nadja Farage. What do I get out of it? A limousine? <laughs> a few bucks on the side? Here you are. Here's a bit of money, you vote me and I get <laughs> some money on the side. <laughs> I got the giggles today. It must be my birthday. <laughs> anyway, let me know, you know, but yeah, 
and that's why I made a video prior to this and it says we mustn't stifle freedom of speech, freedom of expression. There's things that we're going to say which are offensive. There's one, there's one universal, universal rule the whole world should follow. You don't assault anybody, but you should be able to say what you think and what you believe. You can't legalize against people's brains, people's thoughts. When you start to do that, I'm afraid you're trading into a new world order. You got to be careful. Don't let them think for you. Think for yourself. And that's why my brother, right? and no, you don't think to yourself, oh, he's got a white woman. No, he's got a black woman. And he says if he wants to watch G GMTV, he will do it. If he wants to make friends with a racist, he will do it. A black guy with a black woman, not a white woman. He says no one is going to think for me, I will think for myself. Very powerful video, please share it.